and Sims 4 is not considered a real game. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I play The Sims. Oh, I play. Why is it a secret? If that's something that you enjoy and that's your hobby, then do it. I had to work for this, like blood, blood, sweat, and tears, like up all night editing. This stuff is not easy. My name is Amani or Miss Money. My channel is primarily Sims 4 content. However, some of this might, you know, be helpful for you. I do want to get out the way that I am in no way an expert. Everyone's journey is going to be different. Your journey is not going to be similar to mine. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there. And that Sims 4 is not considered a real game. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, because like I'll tell people. Uh, yeah, I have like a ga gaming channel. And they be like, oh, for real? Like, what kind of game? I'm like, oh, yeah, I play the Sims. And then they just be like, oh. I'm like, well, excuse you? <laughs> the Sims? It's still a game, period. Ooh. So like that don't make me any less of a gamer. But I would just say, put yourself out there. People don't realize how big the simming community is. Like, I feel like if somebody were to come for me, like baby, my supporters don't, <laughs> I feel like they don't play, baby. They gonna be like, eh, huh, excuse you. <laughs> no, you didn't. And I'm just like, I'm like the same way with my supporters. Like, say if I see anybody talking crazy to, you know what I'm saying, Golden or Key or, you know what I'm saying, Michiana or something like that. Like, I'm like, er, get yourself. Put yourself out there. Don't be afraid to join like other Facebook groups and stuff like that. You know, don't be afraid to share your channel with, you know, some of your friends or your family members. Matter of fact, um, when I decided to share my YouTube channel on my Facebook, because I try to keep my Facebook life and my YouTube life separate. But the moment that I decided to go ahead and share my YouTube um, space, I discovered I had a lot of Facebook friends that actually love to play The Sims. So I was like, oh, I didn't know that you would be into The Sims because, you know, it's not everybody's cup of tea, you know, but people really do like The Sims secretly. Like, I feel like sometimes they act like it's a secret. Like, oh yeah, I, oh, I play The Sims. Oh, I play. Why is it a secret? If that's something that you enjoy and that's your hobby, then do it. Tell people. Cause I'm just like, man, do you know, like the creative outlet for the Sims is just like so wonderful. Like it's so great. The Sims has been a part of my life for like the past 20 some odd years. So, so I like, I painted my nails, but like they're like, I'm not a good, I'm not good at like painting nails though. So yeah. Nail polish will be down below, down below. Also, Hunte, if you got you a significant other baby, um, I need y'all to go and check out the Climax Candle Company. She has the candles for you, boo-boo, and your significant other. Or, you know, just yourself. You know what I'm saying? I'll try to put some little pictures across the screen here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so go out and buy you guys some candles they are great gifts for your significant other or like i said yourself but overall i would just say believe in yourself be consistent um be you be unique if you're gonna do something put your own little spin on it if you think of an ideal i promise you it's probably already been done a thousand times but if you put your own spin on it you can make it yours and you can make it better you can make your own little signature or whatever. Just because I have like this equipment and all that stuff, this stuff is hard work. Like y'all might just now be discovering me and y'all be like, oh, she got like 3,000 you know, subscribers. She got XYZ money subscribers. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, I had to work for this. Like blood, blood, sweat, and tears, like up all night editing. This stuff is not easy, like for real. And especially being a black creator, like it's even more harder to get noticed out there y'all like for real this you're not gonna blow up overnight at all like you have to work for this if this is something that you want to do i mean even if it's just for your enjoyment but if this is something that you want to do or if you just want to actually try to make a living out of this you're going to work at it honey your journey might take you two years my journey took me about a year and a half and i'm still considered a small youtuber i feel like my passion shows through my content and that's what people enjoy so it makes me happy to be able to share my content with my create with my community i would also say learn how to take breaks that's something that i'm trying to do i'm trying to learn how to balance 
you know, content creating, you know, work life balance and family time and all that jazz. Like y'all, it's not, it's, it's hard out here. And then I'm about to go back to school this fall. Like I'm going to get my master's degree. So on top of trying to maintain a YouTube channel, um, maintain all my other social media platforms, being a mother of a toddler, a nearly two year old, being a wife, being a daughter and being an auntie and you know, being a sister, being a friend, it's a lot you guys. So I would encourage you guys to learn how to find a way to decompress, take a breather, take a rest when you need to and do not feel guilty about it. That was one of my biggest problems. I would feel guilty like if I was not able to produce one video in you know one of those weeks or if I just missed a week out, I would feel so bad and I would beat myself up. But then I realized, you know what, hey, this week is just gonna be my week that I had to take off. Like I, I have a life outside of YouTube, outside of Sims. Like at the end of the day, Sims is like a, a bunch of pixels on the screen. I will say if I miss a week, I will try my best to like produce two videos instead of one. And yeah, you don't have to have a bunch of expensive software or hardware to start a YouTube channel. My webcam, my webcam was probably like 60 bucks. Like it's like a Logitech, but it gets the job done for now. I'm not always like, you know, live or doing face cam or doing those things of that nature. So that's not something I'm looking forward to upgrading. What I do want to upgrade is this microphone first because I do a lot of talking and I do a lot of voiceovers and I do a lot of recording. So I'm like, okay, I need a better microphone personally for me. If you guys have any other questions, comment down below. If there's things that you've learned over the years or since creating, you know, a new YouTube, and I feel like there's gonna be something else that I think of that I, I'm like, dang, I wish I would've seen, said that in my video. If there's anything else that I think of, I'll just pin it down below. But, and if y'all have any suggestions, go ahead and comment down below. Like I said, don't forget to like this video and bruh, you here. And if you watch the end of this video and you ain't subscribed yet, what they don't tell you is, is that YouTube encodes certain videos. Like whenever you're done uploading a video, first of all, what I want you to do is always upload your video on private first. And then when your video is done processing and all that nature, then upload it to public. That way your video kind of goes, processes a little faster via YouTube. Also, depending on your editing software, um, you can put some custom dimensions or what I learned to do was render my videos at 2560 by 1440 and I'll double check that for accuracy when you upload at 2k then your video encoding becomes VP09 that is how some of my videos look so crisp and so clear you know what I'm saying because it's YouTube encoded my video at VP09 nobody ever told me that that's just something I had to research also I would suggest you guys to follow Moaz and Alpha Gaming for like different tips and tricks on how to get jump started on your YouTube channel. And if you're a streamer, then Alpha Gaming and Moaz, they have a lot of great tips. So I have one more thing before I got out of here. Bro, listen to me when I say, stop doing giveaways for subscribers when you are a small YouTuber, stop it. That is not how you gain an audience. Also, sub for sub does not work. Cut it out. Oh girl, if you subscribe to my channel, I'll subscribe to your channel. Okay, girl. Both of y'all end up subscribing to each other's channel and y'all don't even check out each other's content. Cut it out. Now, the reason why I say stop doing giveaways early on when you're a small creator, these people are going to follow you or subscribe to you for the sole purpose of hopefully winning your giveaway not looking at any more of your content, not checking out anything else on your channel. And once they find out that they didn't win, what do you think they finna do? Unsubscribe, unfollow, period. Like, no. Build a genuine audience first. That's what I would say. I wish I would've knew that early on. Um, 
I ain't gonna lie to y'all when I when I was a little smaller I definitely did like some little giveaways but I did that out of the kindness of my heart because I'm like yo I love the sims and I just want to help somebody else to enjoy it too if I can but now I found different ways to do that if I find somebody that's been engaging with me whether it be via Twitter or if they've been engaging on my YouTube channel hey. What's your origin ID? And I will gift them like a little, like a stuff pack or something. But I do that out of the kindness of my heart. And sometimes I feel like the pro my problem is, is that because I have all the packs, I feel like I want to continue to buy packs. Just that the feeling of actually buying more packs gives me like this this high. They're like, ooh, yes, I'm gonna go buy more Sims 4 stuff. <laughs> so I just give it to somebody else. But it still makes me feel good. It makes me feel satisfied, you know? Build your audience genuinely. That is what I had to learn. Your audience might grow slowly, but slow and steady wins the race. Honestly, all it takes is that one good video, that one good video to just catapult you. That one good video is gonna catapult you, baby. I feel like this video is gonna be the longest. I don't know what, but. Thank y'all. Appreciate y'all. Until next time. Bye.